Welcome back. I'm Josh Hogger, digital reporter for TechSomasHomePage.com. And from the national stories that are catching your attention to the local stories that have you running into the comments section, here's what's currently trending in Texoma. The company that revolutionized food storage decades ago has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Tupperware Brands last night announced they're seeking bankruptcy amid growing struggles to revitalize its business. And although sales improved during the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic, they've been on a steady decline since 2018 due to competition. Tupperware shares closed yesterday at just 50 cents a piece. They've fallen around 75% total this year. And the brand has experienced the band, the brand that experienced explosive growth rather in the mid 20th century with the rise of those ubiquitous Tupperware parties, first held in 1948. And at one point, the parties were so effective, Tupperware took their products off the shelves. But the rise of families going out to eat really took a toll on their sales. And you can read more about that over on our website. And after being indicted Tuesday on charges of racketeering and sex trafficking, many are beginning to question the legacy of one of hip-hop's most influential figures, Sean Combs, known by his stage name Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, or now just Diddy. Some experts believe the severity of the crimes he's accused of include abusing, threatening, and coercing women dating back to the mid-2000s may tarnish his career moving forward. Music journalist Peter A. Berry chimed in, claiming, quote, you can't look at Diddy's music in a vacuum the same way you did before, adding, quote, I'm not sure you can play Mo Money, Mo Problems at the barbecue now, and that Diddy has gone from this aspirational go-getting music industry legend to essentially, arguably, the Bill Cosby of hip-hop. Diddy did enter a plea of not guilty on those charges and details of the allegations against him and more reactions on the indictments can be found over on our website. Now, right back here at home, an update from the Wichita Falls City Council has many of you talking over in the comments. Our weekend anchor Dylan Jimenez was at the City Council meeting yesterday where the assistant city manager presented the city's master plan for parks. And now, according to the presentation, citizens have expressed that nature trails, outdoor amphitheaters, and other outdoor spaces are their top priorities. And according to the findings, roughly 51% of Wichita Falls residents live within a 10-minute walk of a park much lower than the national average, which is 74%. Now, the city's master plan should be finished by the end of the year, and make sure that you hop in the comments to sound off with your thoughts on that. Now, of course, you can join the conversation on these and many other stories on social media by following us on Facebook, X, and Instagram. If you want to see the stories that matter the most to you first, make sure that you have our app. Just search KFDX in the App Store to find it. And there's plenty more trending right now in Texoma. You can find all of those stories over on texomashomepage.com.